Today we're going to be looking at some more ratio uh, word problems um, and we're going to be solving them using tape diagrams. Now earlier we solved some ratio problems where we've had we're given the amount of one part and we we're finding the other part. Today we're going to be given the whole and we're going to be needing to find the two different parts from that information. So here's the problem that we're going to look at. A bowl contains blueberries and strawberries. You're given the total number of berries in the bowl and the ratio of blueberries to strawberries. How many of each berry are in the bowl? So we're going to start off with this very first um, situation of 16 berries in my bowl and there's a 3 to 1 ratio of blueberries to strawberries. So let's draw this ratio out, okay? So I know I have blueberries and I have strawberries, right? So I'm going to write blueberries and strawberries. And I knew that my ratio of blueberries to strawberries is 3 to 1. So I'm going to be drawing three parts for my blueberries to my one part of strawberries. Now it also told me in my problem that I have 16 berries total, 16 berries total in my bowl. So I'm gonna write that out here. Okay, whoops, I did it again, guys. All right, out here, I'm gonna say that I have 16 berries total, 16 total. So all of these parts together are going to make 16. Right, so I'm looking at all my parts and I see that I have three plus one, which is four. I have four parts, it's all my parts together, and those parts are going to equal 16. Those parts, some number inside of each of those, is going to multiply by my four because I have four parts all together to make 16. So I can do 4 times blank equals 16, or I could do 16 divided by 4 equals which. Now I know that 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16, or 16 divided by 4 is 4. So each of these parts is going to get a 4, a 4, a 4, and a 4, a 4, and a 4. So now I can go back and figure out, well, how many blueberries is this, and how many strawberries is this, okay? So three groups of four, this is three times four, is going to give me 12. And here I have one group of four, that's four. So I can see that I have 12 blueberries and I have four strawberries. Okay, and I can check and see if this um, ratio is equivalent. I can have three to one, that was my original ratio, and I have 12 to four. Now let's double check, let's multiply this way. Four times three is 12, and we'll multiply this way. One times 12 is 12. My ratios are equivalent. Okay, so in this scenario of 16 berries with a three to one ratio, I would have 12 blueberries and four strawberries. Let's look at another scenario with the same type of problem. All right, so now let's look at this. Let's say I had 10 berries all together, 10 berries all together, and my I have two blueberries for every three strawberries. My ratio is two to three. So let's see if we can draw that out. So here I'm gonna have my blueberries and my strawberries, I'm just gonna abbreviate it, okay? And I had a two to three ratio. So for if I had two blueberries, I'm gonna have three strawberries. And all together, I have 10 berries all together. All together, all of this makes 10. So I'm gonna look and see my parts. I have three parts, I have two parts and three parts. So two plus three equals five. So five parts all together. So I'm going to take my whole 10. I'm going to divide it by five. 10 divided by five. 10 divided by five equals what? And remember, guys, you can use your calculator from this point on in the school year. So if you're still stuck on division a little bit, don't be afraid to use your calculator. 10 divided by five, though, we should know that five times two is 10. Okay. 
10 divided by 5 is 2. That means every one of my parts gets a 2. Every one of my parts gets a 2. So now I can see, well, my blueberries have two groups of 2. 2 plus 2, that's 4. And my strawberries have three groups of 2. 2 plus 2 plus 2, that's 6. So here I have four blueberries and six strawberries in my bowl. And I can tell, well, wait, I have 10 all together. Four plus six is 10, so uh, that makes sense. And I can double check my ratios if I had a ratio of two to three. And now I have four to six. And I can multiply across this way, get 12. Multiply this way, get 12. They are equivalent, okay? So today you're gonna try a problem just like this. There'll be an example at the top. And you're going to try a problem like this where you're going to have to draw out your boxes and figure out um, the parts when you're given the whole. All right. 